there. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Jason and I are back here. We're going to continue our conversation about some local church details. Jason, thank you for joining me yep. here you're welcome. on the YouTube video live stream. This is very fun, isn't it? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> um, yeah, we, you, there's been, there have been some viewers who have said that at various times your face looks like you're a little bit incredulous. Like there's moments where you're like, I can't believe I'm having this conversation with John. Do you sometimes think those things or no? Oh, never. Never okay, at good, all. Okay, good, good. All right, well, today we're going to talk about membership. Yep. And so we're going to try to dialogue about what, 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 how our church views membership. Yeah. And then we're going to talk maybe a little bit more about sort of some other views of membership sure. and then why we view it the way that we do sure. and sort of how that functions within our church. Absolutely. So, um, so obviously we have membership. Yes, we uh, do. What, what is membership and how does it work in our church? Yeah, uh, we do have membership. We have a membership covenant. Uh, we have a couple of classes you can go to uh, offered about twice a year. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, you make a covenant during one of the family meetings, and uh, it lays out exactly sort of like what's expected mm -hmm. of a church member based on, on Scripture. We don't believe that it's a mandate. Mm. Like, God doesn't come out and say in the New Testament, you must have membership. Yeah. Uh, there's not like a specific verse that says this is the exact way you ought to do it mm -hmm. and how to do it. But we do believe that it is, uh, we do believe in it. Yeah, yeah. As 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 a uh, as a very good thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and the reason for that is uh, something as simple as the fact that um, the Bible talks about like you know shepherding the flock of God mm -hmm. among you in First Peter five. Okay. Well, there has to be an among you for us to shepherd, right? Yeah. That, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't say shepherd the entire global church or right, anything yeah. like that, or it doesn't say shepherd some random Christians here and there, or like just your own family. Mm. But there is a sense where there's a distinct group a.k.a. the church, the mm. local church, mm. that um, Peter in 1 Peter 5 and the New Testament says that those leaders are responsible or for and accountable to God for. Hebrews 13, 17 talks about obeying your leaders, submitting to them, for they keep watch over your souls as those who will give an account. Well, who are the your souls, mm. right? It's not, that's not a generic idea. Yeah. That's a specific body of believers. Mm. And so we take it seriously. It's not a mandate. But uh, uh, there is that idea that there is a body of believers under um, the shepherding care of the elders. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Okay, so we would say it's not necessarily, there's no verse, chapter and verse, where we can right. say, hey, right here it says, you must be a member, a card-carrying <laughs> member of Faith Bible Church no. or participate or whatever. True. But we would say that, that, that then what you're saying is we would say, though it's not mandated, it's sort of, it's sort of a principle that we want to apply. Right. And, right. and we see the wisdom of church yeah. membership. So a, what, what about a person who comes to our church and says, hey, I don't believe church membership is commanded. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything that's not commanded in the Bible. Will you yeah. still shepherd me and care for me? Yeah, I mean, if their attitude is like that, of yeah. course. You know, you can still practice the one and others. You yeah. can still submit to elders. You can still do everything that a uh, believer mm. is called to do in the New Testament. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, if you strongly believe in your heart of hearts and your conscience that uh, you don't want to take membership, but you want to be an active member of the church— yeah. By all means. Now, usually, just to be very practical and honest, usually that doesn't happen. Right. Like, eventually, that person will become a member. Right, yeah. Because they are, yeah. de, by, you know, de facto, a yeah. member. In a sense, they're already a member of the flock of God that's among us. Exactly. And so, uh, their membership, that membership covenant, their membership is just them affirming yeah. what they see is right. already their functional role in the church. Exactly. Okay. Right. And then for us, like, in terms of membership, obviously, some churches have some very strict membership rules. Yeah. Um, you have to have the exact same theological beliefs. Right. Um, only members can partake of communion. Yes. Uh, some very strict, yes. strict rules that are associated with membership. Sort of how do we view those things, and then how would our church view them? Yeah. Uh, we disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Politely and lovingly. Well, here's the ball in the team. Jason <laughs> well, because, you know, the Bible yeah. is not already as strict about this definition of membership. It, yeah. leaves, it, it leaves it at the principial level, mm. not at, like, Here's specific commands yeah, that yeah. you ought to do, or specific examples. Even like, mm -hmm. you can't find an example that says this is how it's ought to be. You know, this is how it should be laid out. Yeah, yeah, so we sure. would lovingly disagree with some of those churches or brothers yeah, yeah. who hold to that strong of a or more strict, I guess, of a view. Yeah. Um, and so, if you have different convictions about end times, for example, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and you know you're all millennial and our church is premillennial, would we accept you as a member? Absolutely. Yeah. Even if you have different views about the uh, about the 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 gifts. Mm. We would still embrace you as a brother in Christ, and you can be a member, though there, um, that as long as it doesn't disrupt the the fellowship right. of the saints. But you yeah. know, barring any of that, I mean, yeah, absolutely. There are lots of other interpretive issues that mm. believers could have differences among, and yet still not only just fellowship, but be members of a local church, yeah. even though they know, hey, Faith Bible Church teaches 
well, uh, teaches this, this this doctrine this way. Take yeah. it this way. Well, I don't believe that, but you know, I'm still committed to the church. That yeah. does happen and and should be more than welcomed. Gotcha. That it's okay. So we allow for so we would allow for some theological variance within yeah. the church, but not no obviously not in core principles like the Absolutely. gospel or some of the you know the sacraments, some of those yeah. things. But then when it comes to these sort of third level issues, yeah, 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 we're yeah. okay with a lot of flexibility there. Right, right. And still say, well we can still fellowship, still maintain communion, still even like participate together with yes. the one another yes. as the body of Christ. Right. Okay. Yep. yep. And then in terms of and then what about people who say like, hey, you know, membership is kind of a, it's, it's overly formalized. Mm. You don't need to worry about there really shouldn't mm. be any membership. It's just mm. wherever you want to attend kind mm. of the, like, if I want to go here, that's fine. Next week I'm going to go over oh, here. I want to go. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. about that kind of mentality? And is that obviously, obviously we disagree with that. <laughs> is that a rhetorical question or a real question? <laughs> I like how you uh, made the hypothetical scenario. <laughs> what if this guy goes over here, here, here? No. And no, that's true. That yeah. does happen. That's, yeah. that's why you have to bring it up because I think membership helps in mm. that regard to make people realize not that you going to another church, that's not the issue. Right. The issue is like commitment of the heart mm. to the to the structure that God wants you to be a part of. Got like it. every Christian, not yeah, just, yeah. you know, the special Christians or something. Yeah, yeah. And to bounce around, that sh- that usually, I would say, says some like something's going on in mm. your heart, maybe either, or in your theology. Maybe mm. you don't really know like ecclesiology from the Bible. Yeah, yeah. You know, you just have to be taught. Yeah. Or uh, sometimes, unfortunately, it could be because you're not getting what you want mm. at a given church. Yeah. Grass is greener on the other side, for right, sure. for, yeah. for a variety of reasons. Now, there's a whole list of heart things that, that could be, but it's that's why it's so important to be committed to a local church, Got wherever it. you are. And without, like, because then you don't know who to practice the one another's to. You, yeah, know, you yeah, don't exactly, know yeah. who you're supposed to exercise your gifts for and yeah. to build up the welfare of one body. It doesn't yeah. say that... You're like supposed to go out as sort of some sort of like, you know, like ambassador for all churches <laughs> sure. and go around everywhere and and, and and try to be a blessing to others in in that kind of a sense. Yeah. And so I would say, I mean, the, the Bible talks about the ch- the church in the house of, yeah. the church in Corinth, the yeah, church yeah. here, the church there. Well, what's going on there? Like yeah. those believers have congregated together and have determined, hey, we are a local church mm. in this city yeah. you know, or in this area, and we are committing. To love one another. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so we're really sort of trying to walk this line between sort of like light, Christian light, mm. Christianity light, where yeah. it's like, eh, I don't really need to be a member yeah, of the church. Yeah, yeah. I can bounce around. It's no big deal. This week I want to go here. I want right. to go there. Watch right. the video, the talking head thing, particularly sure. during COVID. Yeah, of so course. So you have that side of it. And then the, the like super strict membership is the only way you're going to set foot in our church. And <laughs> you're not going to take communion unless you're a member, et cetera. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we're yeah. trying to walk the line between these two things. Not mandated. Absolutely. But also not like fluffy right so the 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 line between that is to say and at least in our church is to say hey we we love you we want to shepherd you we want to care for you we want you to be a member whether you're a card carrying written member or just a de facto member because you participate you participate and you've committed to the church yeah so that's the line we're trying to walk absolutely Mm, yeah and it can be and you know we want to protect against um overly being closed off Mm -hmm. and want to protect against like you were saying being squishy or fuzzy or sort of like well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, not Cause, clear. Yeah, because that that's a slippery slope into just saying like, well, um, just being part of a church is enough. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What does that mean? And that becomes very hazy mm. as opposed to like if you look at all of the one another's yeah. or any text on the church, it talks about unity and service and love, which you can't do unless you are actually part of a function. functioning you know, yeah mm-hmm. in, a, in, a, in a church and Absolutely. then and then as elders for us it's also yeah. a blessing right I yeah because then we know who we ultimately are getting uh, an account absolutely for. Yeah. yeah it's it's not uh, a generic eldership right mm-hmm. it's it's for this local church it's not like my pastoral ministry transfers to other mm-hmm. churches yeah. or i have authority over anybody else or anything like that i don't yeah. i don't just go like well i was an elder in fbc mm-hmm. and now we moved to kansas so i get to be an elder over this yeah. church <laughs> Right. God yeah. is very specific about that, which makes absolute sense because he knows that you're committed to that church, yeah. you know, for as long as he'll have you, you're there yeah. and you're going to love the people and care for them. Yeah. And you know them and you can shepherd of them. Of course. Yeah. yeah. yeah Absolutely. That's no, very helpful. All right. Great. Well, thanks for that. And Absolutely. if you're not a member of FBC, but you consider FBC your home church, we'd love to have you become a member. If your heart's just not ready to do that, no problem at all. Uh, but uh, we always will love you and care for you and seek to shepherd you. So thanks for watching.